this is samsung 5570 series 5 smart tv it's a full hd uh, smart tv that means uh, it you can install youtube and some other selected apps on this tv and uh, so far my experience with tv this tv is pretty okay uh, the panel quality is decent uh, the viewing angle and the color reproduction overall the feel when i watch full hd videos on my laptop i think uh, i enjoy a little bit more on this tv uh, even i have a 2k uh, dell ultra sharp monitor uh, it have more resolution than this tv but still uh, watching music videos etc on this tv is an enjoyable experience but uh, uh, as you can see from the video title i am going to tell you why you should not buy this tv that means there is few small uh, things i don't like uh, this on this tv but this can be updated via software but i don't think samsung going to do that because uh, the one of uh, the major issue i face is when i uh, connect uh, uh, audio output this has a uh, digital audio uh, optical audio output bluetooth and tv speakers so when i connect a bluetooth uh, uh, adapter for playing on my speakers uh, it's a logitech as you can see the uh, blue light that is a logitech uh, bluetooth receiver when i connect that uh, i cannot able to control the volume using the samsung remote so i need to go to that logitech speaker it is c263 uh, i need to go to that speaker to control the volume or otherwise i can mute but when i connect to audio output the lesser uh, the optical output you cannot even mute uh, the volume uh, using uh, samsung tv remote uh, or any other remote the tv itself will not uh, mute optical output uh, but you can uh, mute uh, bluetooth output but you cannot able to change the volume of bluetooth or uh, optical output that is a very big disadvantage because when you uh, when you uh, according i i search on uh, google for uh, this issue and i got a lot of people complaining about the same issues on samsung forums regarding this and uh, it's it's a non-issue from 2017 itself uh, samsung is not uh, yet uh, come with an update to fix this uh, and there is a lot of cool things about this tv this is this uh, this is this is one of the major disadvantages uh, in my uh, experience mm, let me show you uh, i'm using uh, sun direct uh, as you can see the tv uh, itself will bring uh, almost all uh, connected devices uh, to the panel itself let me zoom in i will show you more as you can see i think you can see that better so we, we, this is samsung universal remote uh, you can control uh, your uh, connected devices using uh, this universal remote uh, it's pretty small and useful that's uh, cool uh, uh, you can control your sun direct using uh, this uh, remote control and you can install youtube amazon prime uh, sun next sun next is a video on demand service from uh, sun direct if you have sun direct subscription you can uh, use that to stream uh, lots of movies and tv content uh, on online that means when you on the go you can use the sun next uh, website or app on your mobile to stream content that's of course free of charge if you have a sun direct subscription that's free and facebook video youtube kids uh, one thing is uh, the user interface is uh, smooth but sometimes here and there just like uh, any other by the way this is recording on a samsung galaxy s9 uh, the s9 itself uh, sometimes lag uh, drop, that means not la uh, huge lag it's a drop of, drop of frames uh, just I, I think most of users know that what is samsung lag <laughs> yeah that that kind of lag is still present in this uh, tv also ah, let me continue 
so when uh, the when we select sources you can see uh, the universal remote uh, my az 5300 wireless router i connected a one terabyte hard disk and uh, accessing uh, through my tv it's a, it have a DNA, dlns server so i can stream full hd uh, movies to tv without connecting usb or any other uh, things so uh, the uh, another connected device is sun directed so i can select sun direct and <laughs> and uh, change channels using this remote itself so that's a plus and uh, let's see how what's the uh, youtube is already loaded so it uh, open pretty fast uh, let us open prime video as you can see this it is taking around three to ten seconds maybe so that is something you should uh, consider it, it it takes some time to load apps uh, and one more thing one another most important uh, disappointment with this tv is you cannot uh, you can install your own apps but some apps are pre-installed you cannot uninstall that uh, i will show you in a moment just a second so uh, play playing back uh, tv playing back videos from uh, amazon prime is pretty good experience uh, i cannot uh, say anything bad about this the loading time will take 3 to 10 or maybe 15 seconds but after that it's good when i come back to youtube and going back to prime that's okay so the first time loading loading is little bit slower that's it and there is samsung internet you can browse uh, hotstar or other uh, websites uh, on your tv uh, that's a there's a vimeo uh, so uh, lots of t uh, streaming sites can be accessed uh, from this web browser and let me show you the app store apps loading 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 okay this is the app store uh, there is only few useful apps uh, in this store uh, to be frank yes netflix uh, youtube prime video uh, by the way you cannot un uninstall netflix because i am not using netflix then why should i need to keep that uh, thing in my TV so there is no option to delete this app only you can reinstall this app or add to home or view details that's it you cannot uh, uninstall Netflix why why Samsung you you are deciding what I need to use okay <laughs> you are not sorry you are not going you are not the one who decide what uh, should be installed on my TV I don't want Netflix uh, there is should there should be an option to uninstall the same and there is lots of apps like that uh, Sony you cannot delete Sony live I don't want Sony <laughs> okay Sony Sony it, app on my TV is raw now yo no you cannot delete that there is only 200 MB 250 MB of storage and you cannot even uninstall apps the as you can see from the right side top right there is 273 MB available. Ah, yes, the, there is 542 MB used. So around 700 or 800 MB total available space. But uh, you cannot uninstall apps. That is a major disadvantage. And there is no that much uh, useful games or any other stuff. There is some limited games or available. I never played any of this so i cannot comment on this these are the uh, games available uh, if you are planning to buy this tv this will be a software walkthrough for you uh, if you know these kind of games and this can be useful maybe for your purchase decision and let's see what's on the sports there is samsung universal search uh, just like uh, the tv remote uh, there is a button 
let me show let me show you just a second this is uh, the voice search feature I should say 99% of the time it will not recognize my voice <laughs> uh, Google now uh, the Google assistant is recognizing my voice 98% of the time so uh, instead of uh, using Samsung TSM OS or TV OS I don't know what operating system is this but uh, if they integrated Google voice assistant that will be much better but for some reason Samsung is using uh, their own voice recognition system uh, it will search across uh, all available platforms and come with most of the results with YouTube videos yeah that's a plus <laughs> and uh, there is uh, several modes natural movie uh, dynamic and standard I will put most of the time in natural that will, that is a little bit good for my eyes and you can switch between uh, audio optical audio uh, TV speaker TV speaker by the way it's decent but uh, just like any other TV it is not uh, as good as a dedicated uh, 2.1 with subwoofer or 5.1 you know sound mirroring that means you can play uh, from uh, your TV speaker and you are connected uh, audio device and sleep timer tv will automatically go to sleep after a certain time you can set that uh, if your kids are up, uh, turning on tv and they forget to turn off it will turn off automatically and connected network yeah this is another big disadvantage because mass i don't think you can see yeah i think you can see the my tv stand is uh, like a box so uh, the TV is sitting inside a box so the wireless antenna is not good enough to uh, pick up uh, the signals and uh, it is only uh, it's not AC it is uh, it's good enough but uh, it's not the fastest Wi-Fi network so I connected uh, my old router as a repeater and uh, connected uh, via RJ45 cable to that router so uh, I'm getting 100 Mbps full speed on this TV so I can stream uh, full HD videos uh, to this TV without any problem so uh, if you have RJ45 uh, LAN connection that 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 will be much better uh, than using Wi-Fi if you have good Wi-Fi reception in uh, that room that will be fine my uh, router is sitting upstairs so my laptops and all other connected devices are getting enough uh, signal but for some reason this TV is weak to pick up that uh, signal maybe uh, the design of the this TV stand is playing a major role uh, yeah uh, so the most uh, the top three disadvantages is you cannot control volume on uh, connected Bluetooth or optical output uh, that's a big disadvantage just next you can not choose your own apps uh, yes you can install a few apps but um, most of the pre-installed apps are uh, wasting space you cannot uninstall that that's a major downside and another one is connectivity for me at least uh, the Wi-Fi is not that uh, great, but thankfully I have uh, another router as repeater and I am connected via RJ45. There is no issues right now. So these are the major uh, disadvantages. And uh, what is the plus? The uh, quality of this panel is uh, surprisingly good. Uh, I should say better than many other uh, TVs I have seen in my life. Uh, the blacks are deep and uh, the colors are excellent uh, in my eyes at least uh, maybe the OLED ones are better than yes it, it, it is already better than this TV I know that uh, but uh, for this price I should say this is producing uh, better uh, pictures uh, I think you can understand from this uh, video itself and uh, for I am living in uh, a village and uh, my primary language is Malayalam and 
most of the tv channels i watch are in 480p uh, they are not even updated to hd so in my life i am dealing with uh, old 480p tv channels uh, so i should not need a 4k tv or uh, something better than this so uh, i think for another 5 to 10 years maybe 5 years uh, the full hd tv is good enough for uh, india so that is uh, that is the main reason i didn't go to 4k and there is lot less options uh, for 32 inch there is not that the uh, the new tv are coming with uh, 43 inches at minimum uh, there is no more 32 inch premium tvs available there is less space in this box tv box so uh, i should get i cannot go more than 32 inch so that's why i bought a 32 inch tv and this is the best i can get at that screen size there is no more uh, options yes uh, most other tvs doesn't have the lg doesn't have uh, full hd 32 inch with uh, smart features uh, so that's why i choose this and uh, the color reproduction the video and the, the overall experience i highly recommend this tv yeah, this uh, when i purchased this tv the mrp the selling price was around 35000 33000 that range when once it come down to 20 or 15 in the future i should say this is a um, uh, good tv because uh, if you don't like the samsung interface uh, you can add an apple tv or any other uh, uh, prime stick uh, what's that night fire stick amazon stuff uh, this has three hdmi ports two usb ports one rj45 lan lan port uh, normal uh, video in that uh, i don't remembering that port name yeah that, so it uh, got enough ports and um, better or worse the display is very good at least in my experience so that's it the these are the major things come to my mind right now so um, let me think what should i say there is anything to say about this tv this is a natural uh, hd 60 fps video from youtube uh, let me show you the picture so you can decide this is the viewing angle viewing angle is pretty good and the color reproduction and the quality is superb for the price there is local dimming or some other technical stuff going on so i don't know what exactly they are doing but uh, the picture quality is very very good let me change the modes so you can understand that also this is standard this is natural this is movie mode as you can see uh, there is no complaints on the picture quality i really like uh the picture quality of this tv so the my primary complaint is volume control over bluetooth and optical out uh maybe some other devices can help on that but i don't know which is the device to purchase let me play a movie 
this is from amazon prime it's streaming from the internet yeah pretty decent you can fast forward pause etc and one more thing this is openspeedtest.com an html5 internet speed test application you can run a speed test on your smart tv almost any device which is capable of running html5 browser you please check that out openspeedtest.com that is o p e n s p e e d t e s t dot com you can run a speed test on almost any platform anyway that's it for now thanks for watching have a good day this is vishnu by the way this is resuming that 60 fps video and this is the youtube interface uh, let me show you one more thing let me show you one more thing when you click uh, yeah, the voice features of the youtube most of the time it will not work so you need to uh, play with this keyboard on screen keyboard so let me tell you it's not a good experience good youtube but uh, fortunately you can mirror uh, the one of the most important feature of this tv maybe is mirroring you can mirror your phone to this tv also you can uh, control your this tv via let me show you just a second this is a5 uh, samsung a5 this is samsung smart view app uh, with this app you can type uh, your uh, you can control the tv and type uh, the uh, search keywords from the mobile itself that is a cool feature and you can launch apps from uh, this uh, smartphone itself uh, let me show you uh, opening uh, sun next as you can see uh, the tv is loading sun next that's an app application i launched from my mobile also you can uh, control uh, tv volume uh, turn off tv automatically and there is a full remote also you can mirror uh, just a second also the samsung universal remote interface is available on your mobile you can uh, control the tv using your mobile that is cool you can go back you can go home yeah uh, you can expect uh, all features uh, of that smart remote is available here so that's a plus and and this is another cool app from samsung this is samsung uh, smart things uh, that you can uh, watch tv on this uh, device that means what is on your uh, tv will be shown on your mobile uh, you also you can mirror your mobile screen to tv uh, that's mirror screen uh, the mirror screen feature is also available mm, let me show you tv to device let me select tv to device so currently currently my tv is showing sun direct sorry sun next uh, so when i switch to 
my tv is on my mobile that is cool <laughs> right you can watch your tv on your mobile uh, that is one cool but uh, day to day life most of the time i am i am not using this and uh, most important thing is that uh, this will work via wifi direct as long as the tv range the tv wifi range uh, you can use this uh, feature but it's not uh, streaming via your wireless router your network so you cannot use everywhere uh, this feature everywhere on your house or outside of your network uh, this will only good if you are in the range of the tv wireless network the tv will create a wireless network and the uh, this thing is working using that network so that's on my tv the same screen you can see on my mobile that is a cool feature uh, i think mo uh, most tvs have this feature this kind of feature i don't know exactly and the another cool thing is you can mirror this device to the tv a5 is connecting a5 2017 is connecting for some reason the connection is lost let me try one more time yes as you can see my this is my mother this is my mother's phone this is how she used the phone so uh, you can do this kind of stuff you can browse uh, internet on your phone and mirror the same on your uh, tv yes full screen is available uh, according to the your mobile orientation it will change accordingly so this is pretty standard feature this is called mirror link it will be available on most of the tv but uh, with samsung software it is much easier uh, to this also you can uh, play uh, your device sound uh, to tv also tv sound to this device yeah thought lots of uh, features but most of the time we will not use those features at least in my case i am not using uh, all these features and the next cool thing that's also mirror screen most of the tvs will do that this is my lg gram let me show you you can connect to a wire uh, connect to a wireless display from your laptop is a windows 10 laptop as you can see the laptop is searching for devices uh, it's just a second oh it's in flight mode my laptop is in flight mode wi-fi is turned off just a second i turn the wi-fi back on my laptop was in flight mode so you can see that samsung series 532 display uh, when you click that uh, your screen will be your laptop screen will be mirrored uh, to the tv that is pretty useful uh, also you can uh, see one sc one uh, screen on this laptop and you can move the application to uh, the TV so it's a dual screen experience uh, dual, dual display experience you can have uh, two display one on your TV and one if you are working on your laptop you can play TV play a song or video on your TV using your laptop wirelessly yes the laptop is not connected why are using any wires so that that that's mirror link the same feature available in most of the tvs so that is pretty useful that's also available in this tv yeah yeah that's it the video title is why you should not buy this tv so i'm going again going to tell you why you should not buy this tv because it is only full hd most of the people nowadays are looking for 4k tv etc so samsung 5570 32 inch tv is full hd also the all 5570 series is 
full hd right now so it's fully full hd that's one reason you should not buy this and another reason is you cannot control volume over uh, bluetooth and optical output that is another downside and the next downside is the availability of software uh, most basic stuffs are available but still uh, you cannot uninstall a few pre-installed apps come with this uh, TV so that is a downside uh, and what is next uh, the built-in speakers are decent but uh, yeah it's usable but it lack bass and uh, yes you can live without a uh, without uh, you can live without a dedicated speaker with this tv for sure the music is good enough uh, at, uh, for in for an inbuilt speaker it is okay it's good but uh, a dedicated speaker or sound bar will be much better so that's another downside <laughs> it's not really a downside the, most of the built-in speakers from all tv manufacturers are like this uh, so it's decent so that's fine then picture quality uh, it's good uh, there, there is no that much complaints from that point of view so anyway that's it i think i will i almost cover every aspects of this tv including the smart features uh, let me know in the comment section if i miss anything in this video uh, i will answer uh your questions in the comment section if you have anything uh, other than the long video long boring video with my broken english uh, this is a settings app uh, the, you can update software accessibility remote management uh, echo solutions uh, smart manager there is a lot of thing going on uh, there is only few downsides uh, i as i said if that is a deal breaker you should not buy this tv otherwise i am uh, i'm not, i'm not sure what to tell it's your purchase decision but still uh, it's a pretty decent tv for pretty decent price uh, if you are using apple tv or uh, any other um, xbox or any other thing all you need is a panel get a good panel at your price that's it uh, the tv features doesn't matter at the end of the day if you are uh, invested on some other platforms uh, or you are comfortable with some other platforms all you need is a uh, dump screen with uh, uh, an input like hdmi or display port uh, most of the tv come with uh, hdmi so uh, the tv features doesn't matter if you are invested in some other platforms like apple tv or fire tv or any other stuff and any or if you like android tv go ahead and buy uh, some other uh, uh, panasonic tv or i don't know exactly i'm not a tv geek <laughs> okay so uh, for an average user uh, this tv with these features are okay but still that uh, volume is bugging me every single day uh, volume control over bluetooth is a must have basic feature for any tv uh, i see i read somewhere uh, in the samsung forums the that feature was available in the in this tv uh, on earlier software versions and uh, when an update came samsung disabled that and uh, told their customers uh, to buy samsung approved accessories uh, in order to play uh, sound via bluetooth and or control the uh, it's not samsung certified uh, only samsung certified uh, devices can i don't know exactly so uh, that is a major downside for this tv that's why i hate uh, samsung <laughs> for uh, this tv so uh, please samsung please uh, enable volume control over bluetooth and optical out and give us freedom to uninstall the crap you added to my tv uh, i think we should file a case or <laughs> a court case or something to doing this uh, only limited space available and uh, there is no more no good options uh, 
uh, or to choose and there is a lot of uh, pre-installed crap so anyway that's it for now thanks for watching have a good day this is vishnu bye